Hello everyone and welcome back to Erratus Lord of the Dead. Robert Rambles here and thanks so much for joining me today. We are in the mercenary barracks. We defeated the boss of the Dwarven Tunnels. And now we are in the last playable area in early access. I did a couple battles in here and I didn't do the recording at all. I thought I was recording and it turned out I wasn't recording. So missed a couple of battles. We've encountered some rogues, we've encountered some knights with some heavy shields, and we've also got some levels on some of our units here. So, but besides that, not much has changed. We're still in the very beginning parts of the mercenary barracks. So let's go ahead and we're going to keep moving. And we'll see Having what... Having an enchanted map like this is pretty handy. That's true, it really is. And we'll see what the enemies are like here. Or rather, you guys will see, I've already seen some of them. I'm going to grab the experience for Erratus. Something else I've done in the talent tree is I got down to Wrath Unchained, which gives all of our Dark Knights plus 5 attack, plus 5 dread, and plus 5 luck. And we can track that here in the upgrades. So they'll all have this from now on. The next thing that we're going to go after... Actually, we can get now Skeletons. The formula. Plus 20 Vigor, so just... Free 20 HP for our skeletons. I, I think that's only the actual skeletons, not the bone golem. They have their own upgrade. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into this battle. So we've got an Elven Ranger. She's probably going to be highest DPS. We're going to want to take her out first. She's using aim shot, which deals 250% physical damage. Uh, she's going to really hurt somebody. We need to make sure she, that she can't do this too many times. Then we take out the rogue. And then we take out the bard. Uh, she's going to go into a defensive stance sometimes, the shield maiden. And she is quite tough. She has quite a bit of armor and resistance. And she's obviously got two block and two ward. So it'll be... Interesting to see how we take these guys down. Uh, we're going to start with the DPS. Alright, and let's just start off. We're going to start dealing damage on him. But I do want to get... Let's get somebody on fire here. Have a warm end, my friend. And of course he misses with his 100% accuracy. Uh, armor absorbed it, but we're stunned. That's not any good. Let's buff her up. Now this does more damage when they're already missing health, but I feel like... I actually want to go ahead and give her some armor. Maybe we should give ourselves some armor. We can't. That'd be great if we could. Let's give some armor to our bride. So that we don't lose her early on. Now that attack of his hits a random enemy, so we can't control what he hits. He does decent damage though with it. And it wasn't affected by her blocks, so that's also good. Alright, I am gonna try to target her. We need to well, <laughs> not gonna be able to hit her, but we need we need, need to break her soon. So uh we'll throw some damage on this guy first. Oh. Cause she's gonna get the, yeah she's gonna get that attack off I can heal him a little bit I can heal him he does have a heal that's that is if he lives to get to use it okay so we can heal some vigor gonna try to keep him alive obviously even if that means he spends a couple of turns healing himself I have to get rid of this block while we have a chance at edit, so let's do that. And we can just start laying down some damage. Now she does additional damage against female enemies, so I'm kind of relying on that. To take her out before too much more badness happens. I want to take out one of her blocks too. 
We just seem to keep hitting her with him. I don't really want to be targeting the tank first, but... We could maybe lower her attack with this. Plus negative 12? That, that, might, that might help us. Alright, she's almost down. This will finish her. One oh, it took out the rogue too. We got really lucky there. From this world. Really lucky that we took out the rogue with that too. Now she's in her stance, so she's going to be kind of buff here. Let's see what this can do. Oh, oh good. They can still bypass her completely. That got through her last block at least. That's a significant heal, but it's okay. It's good to have skeletons to break those those stances, because they do get kind of annoying. Especially strong defensive stances. At least she's not a strong attacker as well. There's a nice crit. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah, pathetic. Oh, she's out. She peaced out. Okay, well, it wasn't very pretty, but we came out of it relatively unscathed. Uh, we got a level on our Lich. That's always nice. I think we could just give him some more attack I power. Expect results. I'm fine with that. Let's grab our guys out of here that we have. I was playing a little bit with the Blood Phantasm, so we'll throw him in. I actually like the unit quite a bit. And then I'm going to put a skeleton in this third spot here, and we'll see. We'll see how that works. I think I like it. Let's put you in the mortuary and you. And overall, we are doing pretty good as far as keeping our units alive and not losing anybody too essential. Ah, uh, this we could grab a smoke bomb. Or we could just grab dynamite. More for me. Dynamite sounds good. In fact, if we look at our one-time uses, we have quite a few that we have not used. Eratus gains 300 additional XP. Yeah, I would love to use that. I'd love to use a lot of these. Let's go ahead it and use some dynamite. We might as well, because if we don't use it, it's just going to sit there, and I'm going to forget about it. So let's see if it helps us at all. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Free, free I'd like to see like an explosion go off or something like to indicate that we tossed dynamite, but... It's fine. It's early access, so. Uh, nobody has blocks. Nobody has wards. The rogues, we're going to try to take out. Everybody just seems dangerous. We've got the rogues. We've got the spell thief here. Who knows what he's going to do. We've got this barbarian with a lot of armor. So, we'll see. I'm going to have him attack the spell thief. Assuming that he'll be able to take him out a little bit easier than this Barbarian. Oh, he's stealing Eratus' mana. Perfect. Perfect. In that case, he can burn. Have a warm end, my friend. I also like having the Skeleton because, if necessary, he can go into a tank stance and kind of soak some damage. Which is always good. Uh, do we want to set anybody else on fire? Let's just do an impale and see how much damage this huge barbarian woman takes. Her armor completely absorbed it, actually. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Yeah, he's just draining our mana. Uh, that's incredibly obnoxious, so... Within flames. You should die. Like, right now. Oh, my Wait, we missed kill. him. We missed the kill shot. With the with the ability that hardly ever misses. 
Why is he just missing this guy? I mean, his, his accuracy is not 100%, so... I guess that's why. Fair enough. I'm worried about taking her out without magic damage of some kind. Loses evasion. So other guys are going down fairly easily. Impale this wretch. Seventy-six crit. More materials. Ooh, I didn't think it would be this easy. Okay, this will move him back. It's a mixed attack. Attacks twice, dealing eighteen to twenty physical and fourteen to sixteen stress. I just like that it gets him not up front. So. Oh, very nice, and she actually went insane. Um, so that was a pretty good attack for a rage ability. That's just not strong enough to get through her armor, I guess. Maybe we should just have him tank it up. That's barely getting through, so... Um, well... It's a decent amount. That's pretty nice, I have to say. She'd probably just burn if we let it tick. There we go. That wasn't too hard. I will is a tide that will wash away your a five brain. pathetic civilizations. Always could use more five brains in case anything goes terribly sideways with any of our battles. Uh, okay, let's swap some people out. I like when we don't even have to use all of our mortuary slots. That tells me that we're doing something right. I think I will throw him back in, and I think I will throw him back in. And let's... oh, we have an elite squad. Let's see what's in the coffin. And then we will check our equipment. Once every turn, 8 accuracy for 3 turns. Not really that needed. Eratus gains 8% chance to acquire extra parts and let's just grab these this armor tribute. let's give him the armor and then let's check our consumable artifacts I'd say we could probably go ahead and just use this other dynamite we it still have the scroll of skullfall that we haven't used and eventually we'll want to use this to get that experience well, let's do the dynamite for now, going into this elite battle. Should give us an edge. So there we go, there's our dynamite. Elite elven rangers. Who like to crit. And they look badass. The great thing is I love all the mortal character designs as much as I enjoyed the undead designs. Almost to a point where I'd love to play this game back inverted to where were the humans fighting the undead. Like that could be a, a separate play mode or a different campaign because I love all the detail in the mortal armies that they've created as well. I think they're all great. Makes it a lot of fun. Alright, let's... I guess we just... We know we need to take these guys out ultimately, right? But they're way back there. He's way up here. We'll focus on this one guy for now. Oh, I hate having them just stand back there. I know they're gonna unload on somebody. 
There we go. Well, nah, maybe not. I thought maybe he would deal some random damage and make me feel better, but no. And they marked him, so I, I can't have him... I can't have him shield himself. Should, should probably have had him heal, though, I guess, because they might take him out here. Ay, ay. Not good. Not good. Have a warm end, my friend. One more for the stockpiles. I'm terrified I'm going to lose this guy, but I just have to keep going. He's missing so much. Ugh, it's making me very regretful. I could heal and, and pray, but I think he's going to go down. Like, eventually. Or someone's going to go down. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, these archers, man. These archers are bad news. Very bad news. Impale this wretch. It's either them or me. I gotta kill one of them. Gotta kill them. I hope this hits. <laughs> it's missed every time, and it would have been a killing shot, I think, twice. I'm gonna have to have him attack. This one voided its bowels. I can't risk losing two characters. <laughs> we might not lose anybody, but it's early. Impale this Let's see. Wretch. We might be safe, guys. That was really close and kind of hectic. Ah, so many misses today. Thought we were through the misses. Okay, there we go. It's all good. We didn't lose anybody. It's okay. <laughs> Stress level elevated. But it was an elite battle, so we could expect that, I guess. But yeah, that was a tough one. I'd like to see more battles like that. Um, that was very stressful, so good. Let's see who we have to pull out, because we have some folks that need to go in. Okay, where does that leave us? With uh, You have a little bit more, or a little bit of health missing. No need for that. Let's do something like that for our future group makeup while these guys recuperate. As far as talent points, we don't really use wraiths. We use banshees. We could work our way down to 8 attack, plus 5 evasion, and plus 2 initiative for our banshees. We haven't been using them as much. But grabbing this might change our minds. Slake with darkness. Target minion loses 20 vigor and gains 5 attack. Eh, I probably would never use that. Spells but I want to work my way down here and I want to grab this. Blackest Lodge. Okay, I think this is going to be a good place to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, I don't know if I'll sacrifice somebody. Yeah. I'm not, I don't really care for sacrificing people, but I might could sacrifice somebody from one of these groups that we don't really use. See what we get, and then we'll do some battles. Might be able to clear these three out next time. And then soon enough, we're going to be at the boss fight, so we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for the support, I really appreciate it. Take care, and we'll see you soon.